Hi, I'm Karen for Expert Village. Our dough has been kneading about 10 minutes. During this 10 minutes, I've been adding a little flour at a time. Let me show you the texture of the dough because this is what's most important. Unlike baking a cake where you need precise amounts of flour, with bread making, what's more important is the texture of the final dough. Let me pull this out. Okay, this dough, in the end the dough should be smooth and satiny, not sticky to your hands, but firm, not too soft. We ended up adding nine cups of flour instead of the original eight, but this is fine as long as you end up with the nice dough like this. Now we're going to set our dough in our bowl to rise. We'll just add a drop of oil in the bottom of the bowl and we'll put the dough in there and turn it around to coat the dough on all sides. This will keep it moist and you won't develop any crust on the, on the top. We'll also cover it with a bit of plastic wrap. Mine is not caving. And then we'll cover it up with a, a towel and place it in a warm place to rise for about one hour.